Hey guys, what's up? It's Gregis Harder here, and welcome to episode 5 of my Road to a Magzerker. As you can see in the background, I am killing Cyclops, trying to get my defenders, and I'm currently on a steel defender. However, during this video, you will actually see me wielding an iron one, and the reason for that is immediately at the end of the video, I turn off the recording, and as soon as I kill the Cyclops, I get my steel defender. So, currently on steel, just gotta work my way up to black, then mithril, then adamant, and then we are on Rune, so I have five defenders I have left to get, and once I get up to the Rune Defender, then I'm going to collect at least 25 to 30 of them, I think. That way I'll have an ample supply for PKing. Now, speaking of PKing, um, I've decided that I'm going to actually become, get 99 attack, because it'll be easier for me to actually, you know, fight with a, uh, with a whip rather than using a Dragon Scimitar all the time. And, you know, it'll just be a lot more fun. Of course, then again, when I do get my fighter torso, it's going to make me, um, you know, worry about actually risking the torso whenever I have the whip. So, you know, that's a bit of a quandary. If I'm using my uh, torso, then I'll probably just use, it to use the dragon scimitar. And if I'm using a whip, I'll just use full rune. But, in addition to that, I've also decided, instead of PKing with fire capes, I'm actually going to be completing what Legends quests. That way I can collect uh, quite a few of the Legends capes. Uh, reason being, it's a little bit simpler to actually, you know, get the Legends cape back than it is to get a um, get a fire cape, especially with how long it actually takes to go through the fight cape. And, you know, I'm not always the best when it comes to actually killing Jad, especially when it was an old school, so... You know, it's going to take me a little bit to actually get a fire cape. I will have one, uh, you know, just for strictly for, like, training purposes and stuff like that. But, you know, other than, you know, doing PKing, I might, you know, I never know. I might, I might actually collect uh, about ten of them and actually see how, see how well I can actually do with them. But, um, just as an update, um, I still need to get quite a few levels uh, before I can get Vengeance. Uh, obviously, I need to get uh, 90 more magic. And essentially what I've decided, I'm going to train all of my combat skills up to 70 and then start rounding them off each time, going up by 5 levels. It's like I'll get 70 attack, 70 strength, 70 range, uh, 70 magic, and then you know start rounding them up by 5, doing one skill each day until I get you know to the next one to where it needs to be on the plateau. So essentially what I'm going to go for, I do need to get uh, 70 magic up because I'm actually really close on that one, and then I'll start training on range to get that one up, because that's one of the things that I really need to do. And um, everybody sh that doesn't know this, uh, range in um, the, orig uh, the original RuneScape, uh, the current live game, was actually my first 99, and I was really, really um, happy when I got 99 range, because at that time, um, I was a range tank during Bounty Hunter, and... You know, if you had 99, 99 range, I had 70 defense, you know, I wasn't maxed out on defense, but, you know, I still just destroyed people, you know, those random bolt specs, they catch them off guard and they're just like, oh crap, you know, but that's one thing that I actually did miss, and if you actually notice right here in the video, the Cyclops with a, that I was attacking, sorry, just completely disappeared, and I'm like, where did he go, but Back on topic, um, that's another thing I actually want to talk about. That's one thing that I was hoping that they would actually move uh, RuneScape back to, was instead of moving it past back to 07 before they removed the Wilderness, was to actually putting it to where we could play uh, with Bounty Hunter. Because, to be honest with you guys, that was actually where I really enjoyed uh, PKing. Because you can actually make quite a bit of profit regardless of what build your account was. Whether you were a pure, you know, a tank, um, a zerker, a main, it didn't matter. You know, you could always make quite a bit of money from that. And, you know, at the current moment, from what I remember, and from what I hear, remember hearing from a friend, whips are about, like, 2.5 million. And if anybody remembers back in Bounty Hunter Day, that's when, you know, whips were actually really high. They were up to, like, 4 mil a pop. Of course, then again, we didn't have people, um, you know, camping them constantly. And sorry about that little, uh, little bit of lag in the video. I have no idea what caused that. You know, I just, you know, it's probably just something while I was recording. But, um, for anybody that's curious, uh, yes, I will be, um, uploading 
another episode of Super Kaizo, Kaizo Super Mario World later tonight after this goes up. And and before I've even finished my uh, first LP, I've already decided on my next one. It's going to be Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. And I'm going to be doing that on Professional and getting Silent Assassin ratings every time. So anybody that's actually into uh, stealth-based shooters, that'll be something for you. But other than that, guys, I've been Reggie Saro. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as you guys can see, I did flash my stats quite a bit, so you won't really have to ask about those. You can just look at, look at the video to find them. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then feel free to leave a like rating. As always, I appreciate it when you do that. If you're new around here, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And other than that, guys, I've been Regisaro. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, peace and adios.